Hello, and welcome. I'm Bio, and today we are starting another set, a new set. And it's quite an interesting set, because I didn't even know these were a thing, but apparently they were a thing that existed back on the PSP. And that is the Passport 2 series, which had six games. All six games got released at the same time, on the same date, that is September 22nd, 2006. And I think they are just kind of guides to all these different cities. So we have all together, what's this? We got, um, we're starting off with Rome, as you can see here, Passport to Rome. Then there's also Prague, Paris, Barcelona, Amsterdam, and London. And I'm going to be doing them, in, doing them just in whatever order. They Again, they came out all on the same day, so I can do them in whatever order. One thing's for certain, though, I'm going to leave London till last, because that's probably going to be the one I'm most familiar with. So, starting off, we're going to Rome. <clears throat> well, at least we're, we're, this will serve as our passport to Rome. Basically, what happens is, is we just go to Rome, whip out the old PSP, slam it on the table, and go, here you go, here you go, boy, here you go, here you go, boy. Let me enter Rome now, boy. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. But I think these were like guides. Basically, like, you know, you see those books, it's like a guide to Rome, guide to this, what best things to do. Because this was made with it, uh, with uh, association to Lonely Planet. I think it's something similar to that. But for the PSP, what a weird thing, right? Cool, though. It's basically like an interactive book, I guess. Um, and these were. These are internally developed at uh, Sony's London studio. So, yeah. So, we're just going to go through and just, yeah, and just see what these kind of games offer, really. Oh, God. Okay. So, we have a guide. We have My Rome. Maps, images, videos, audio tours, phrasebook, and web. Okay. Well, let's have a look at C. So what do we have? Well, these are, I guess these are places you could go to. I also want to let you know that I've actually been to Rome. I have actually been to Rome. I've been to Italy. And I, I and the only time I have went to Italy, I went to Rome. It was all right. I went to the Vatican. And um, all I could say was it was all right. My friend I went with... Uh, who's half Canadian, half British. He liked the holiday way more than me. me. For me, the holiday was the food. The food was the best part of the holiday. Italian food, really good. Because I love Italian food anyway. But for him, it was seeing like the Colosseum and the Vatican and seeing the Michelangelo's you know, whatever painting that's on the ceiling. And I, was, I remember going there and looking at it and we're like, oh, that's nice. I just, art, I don't really get personally. Yeah, I can look at a building and go, that looks like a nice building. But. Simply sacred. Nobody likes a liar. Old meets new. Ancient splendor. Oh, yes. Have a look at the pin. Bonny M. Okay. I'm just seeing if there's anything. Oh, Papal for Fortress. So, that's the Colosseum. If I click on that, what's it going to tell me? This imposing round hunk has served to guard both the living and the dead. Built as a mausoleum for Hadrian, it was converted into a fortress for the popes in the 6th century AD. During a wave of plague around that time, Pope Gregory the Great saw a phantom angel hovering over the building and christened the fortress St. Angelo. Okay. Okay. Oh. There's an interactive map, apparently. And we can get a full screen image. Fantastic. All right. Options. Okay. So, where can we shop? We have photo gallery, fancy clothes, funky junk, home style, see the light, trendy toys, kick up your heels, oh, fancy pants. Okay. So it tells you what shops you can go. What about eat? Okay, I don't get out of Africa. Why would you go to Italy and eat African food? I'm just saying. 
Just, I'm just saying, why would you do that? Why would that, why would that be a thing? What I like about this is it is telling you, I assume, places you could go to, like Veggie Delight, like Arancia Bulu. And like, there's just a picture of a fan. There's a fan there, it's a ceiling fan. Just show me a picture of the actual restaurant. Or are you just telling me, like, things I could potentially eat? Or is this, like, classic Roman, divine delicacies, home-style cooking, and a superior location? It's like, just tell me, what you, like, this is a guide to eat, right? And you even have, like, if you want to eat something specific. Kosher pizzeria. And what, the, are these all restaurants? I just, I don't know. I, don't, I assume they're restaurants? Whoever decided to have a fan be the pitcher, though, is just stupid. Entertainment. Ah, oh, yes, Aquatic Nights. Ah, oh, yes, Globe. Ah, oh, yes, Jazz and Blues, but just have a circle with a zoomed-in A. I don't get these pictures! What are these pictures? Like, are you recommending me places I could go to? So this one here, Alpheus, is that like a club? I'm assuming that's some some kind of club. Fair enough, they take a picture of the actual neon sign they hang outside the club. Or at least, like, show what the club looks like. What? There you go, that looks like the, the, the inside of uh, of that place. Then sleep. Him and me. See, there you go, like, Al Albergo de Sol. Is that a picture of the actual Albergo de Sol? An actual relevant picture. But then we have Pantheon Views. Well, Albergo Abruzzi. Which is just showing a picture of a key. Thank you. Thank, 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 well. Oh, that's really what... Oh, I just wanted a fucking door handle. A door to fucking knock there. Oh, there's a, there's a faucet. Let's see if we find the most stupidest picture. You've reused that picture. Don't reuse the picture. There is essential information. The Ophel is an art form and no one's antipasta. The trator Trattoria is usually a family run concern. Serving home cooking. A ris risotto da da. A ristorante is more formal with a wider selection of dishes. The Osteria is an inn, usually with only. Okay. Money. Euro notes come in denominations of 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, and 500. Often difficult to get change for a 500 euro note. That's a good point. The biggest note we have for like the British pound is 50. But these boys be having 500 euro notes. That's crazy. Yeah, I imagine it is difficult to get change for a 500. Euro note. It's like if I went to do my weekly shopping and slap down a bloody 500 pound note. I think the cashier would look at you funny. Like, why have you done this to me? In all fairness, I'd probably just reject. So. Manage saved games. Ooh. About Passport 2. So there you go, this will tell us. Oh, it's just the credits. That's all it is. So let's have a look at the maps. Let's have a look at the underground map. Wow, look at that resolution, boys. Oh, that's a resolution I like. What's that? 144p? Oh, that's fucking lush. Oh, and I can do this. Oh, you can zoom in. Fantastic. So you're telling me on low zoom you can't have everything appear anyway? What's the point of that? Oh, here we go. We're now on Google Maps, or as I like to call them, Sony Maps. What's that? That is the... That is the... It's a sofa. It's a sofa right there, boys. Oh! Oh, lovely. Places to sleep. Places to go. I can't remember where I stayed in Rome, if I'm honest with you. Is that the... Is that the Colosseum there? Yes, sir. Piazza del Popolo.
Well, this is definitely not what I expected, exactly. I don't know what... Like I said, I had no knowledge of these. I don't know what I expected going into this. If I'm honest with you. Just more of the... More of the same. I'm high... I'm kind of tempted to just do all six games in one video. If I'm honest with you. Oh, here's, oh, here's all the images that they use for the promotional stuff. Oh. Pictures. Oh, they got some pictures of some... some. Here we go. Is the Vatican secret police. Fantastic. A day... Oh, so they have a day in all of them. Okay, let's go. A day in Rome. Look at the video. <gasps> oh, looky. There be the sun. Ibita san! Dee 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 dee! Oh, look at the pussycat! Oh, look at the man on the bike! Oh, look at the grandma in the window! Oh, look at the grandma put the washing out! Oh, look at the bicycle! Oh, look at the dairy! <laughs> oh, look at the old oh, the car! Oh, look at the metro! <laughs> it's gonna do Mario voice! <laughs> Very stereotypical Mario voice the entire time throughout the video. It's just, just talking about what you're looking at. Oh, look at the scooter. It's a Vespa. Oh, look at the bogey. Hey, hey, I went to that market. Yeah, I'm, I remember that market. I bought a big, massive block of cheese from that market. Fucking good cheese that was as well. Yeah, I've actually been to that market, believe it or not. Yeah, it's just get fresh everything there, right? pretty much. Get the old babushkas there. Yeah. It's a lot of trash, though. Yep, been there. The old, that old fountain. I don't realize when I went to Rome, I, 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 me and my mate just literally just went, well, friend, and just went around walking everywhere. There's a Colosseum. We went there. Um, you can't really get any decent pictures of the Colosseum because it has like, like fencing everywhere. Just trying to see if I, what I can recognize, really. Oh, there's, there's the Vatican. Oh, I think that was... Is that the Vatican or was it just outside? I don't know. I've been there, though. I've been to that building. There they go. There you, there you got the big spire thing. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, yeah, that fountain. Yep, yeah, had loads of change in that. Loads of change. Literally, it was there were so many coins in that fountain that it, you, you couldn't even see, like, the paint on the bottom of the fountain. So many coins. But yeah, the, the biggest memory I have of going to Rome is just the food. The food was great. I, I, I do want to go back to Italy, but I'd rather go somewhere that's not as touristy. And I'll just eat all the entire time. I'll just eat the food all the time. Because <laughs> the food is really good there. Get the old chalau. But as with every, everywhere you go, I like how they don't show the people that come up to you and say to you, "Hey, you want to buy you, you want to buy this cheap piece of plastic for five five euro five euro?" <laughs> oh, you get them everywhere. Oh god, they're so annoying. My mate had never even encountered them before, and he got roped into it because they what they do is they walk up to you. They have this like shitty like bracelet thing that they have have to tie on to you. And they charge you five euro for it. So what they'll do, they'll walk up to you and they'll they'll just start putting it on your wrist. Well, that's what they'll attempt to do. Just, they'll attempt to start putting it on your wrist because once it's on your wrist, they'll be like, ah, oh, no, you, 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 you've taken it now. You have to pay for it. So then you, um, you have to give them five euro. Well, you don't have to. You just walk away and call them a bunch of cunts. That's what I did. Or we'll just don't let them put it on the wrist. wrist. So, oh, now you can go through and see everything that was in the video. The Colosso, the Vaticano, that was the Vatican. The Fonta Fontana de Trevi, the Pantheon. Yeah, I went to the Pantheon. Yeah, I pretty much went to all the, like, the hot spots in Italy. So I went to all of the hot spots. It's even audio tours. Look at that. Phrase book. So it, I'm a bit confused about this. Why? Why is it that this game 
has every has all of this. It's like with the videos. Why does it have all of them? You think it would be exclusive to? So let's have a look. See uh, what we got. Airport, uh, by car, bank post, kids, transport, communications, communications. Is that a public telephone? C'è un telefono pubblico. Oh. C'è un telefono pubblico. C'è un telefono pubblico. <laughs> C'è una cabina telefonica. Was it ciao? C'è una cabina telefonica. That's like a bloody song lyric. Ciao, una cabina telefonica. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not making fun of the language. I like I like different languages. Vorrei usare la mia carta di credito. Oh, fantastic. It's fucking fantastic. You hear it? Vorrei inviare un'email. Lovely. Is there anywhere I can surf the internet? C'è un internet point? Internet point? I don't know about an internet point. I like how all of this is just like... How much is a ticket? Now that's relevant. Quanto costa un biglietto? I would like to book a seat. I would like to book tickets for tomorrow night. A lot of these are just like... Quanto costa il biglietto? Eating. Eh... Uh, Avete tavoli liberi? Avete tavoli liberi? This would actually have been pretty useful, in all fairness. When I went to Italy, because I did bring my PSP with me. Why don't I just bring this with me? Just go in there and just go... Where is it? Let's go, uh... Vorrei mangiare qualcosa di leggero. Gelagello? 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 Oh, I'll stop just losing it now. Oh, here we go, the greetings. Salve. Salve. Ciao. 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 Piacere di conoscerla. Oh, come va? Come va? Come va? Arrivederci. 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 Get the old funny old Jojo part five up. Arrivederci. Addio. <laughs> Grazie. Grazie. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Buonasera. Buonasera. Buonanotte. Buonanotte. Mi chiamo... Mi chiamo Baio. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Just losing it now at this point. Mi scusi, what's it Mi scusi. 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 Sorry. I'm just losing it now. Mi scusi, baguzi. I would like to play the game. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna put, I'm gonna play every single one of these in a single video because I don't feel like it's wor it's it's worth enough to play them separately, personally. So let's load the next one, which uh, we'll just do it in order backwards or whatever. We'll just do it in whatever order. I won't do London last. Let's do Prague next. We'll do Prague. Oh, here we go. There's this little intro. Passport to Prague. Association with Lonely Planet, though. I would... I've, I, I, I've, 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 a friend of mine has been to Prague. He said it's really nice there. I don't personally see a point of going there myself. I don't know what's really that's nice about it. If I'm honest with you. Music by Mozart. Religious art. Sacred art. Modern art. Scores of music. Like, I don't get it. What's the, what the hell is that instrument? Now that is an instrument. What is that? This absorbing museum displays several orchestras worth of musical instruments, from grand pianos and harper kisser chords to trombones, tubas, and hurdy gurdies. <laughs> hurdy gurdy is an instrument? I want a hurdy gurdy. Well, that, well that, that is just funny as hell. Listening posts in every room play recordings of the often very rare instruments. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Is that a hurdy gurdy I'm looking at right now? Discovered by the quarter tone piano never caught on. Concerts are sporadically he held downstairs. Yeah, what is that? That thing on the left, what is that? I have no clue. Is that a hurdy gurdy? I hope so. That looks like a hurdy gurdy. Where can we shop? Oh, we can go to Book Heaven, where we can pick up books. Oh, does that have it in books in English, I'm guessing then? Classic CDs. Oh! <gasps> were. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've never really shown interest in, in going to Prague, personally. Not a place I really see being worth going to. At least for me. 
got to remember, I went to Italy, and for me, it, if I hadn't enjoyed the food, I would have considered it a bad holiday because I just the, the architecture and the historical significance is just it is pointless on me. It's completely pointless. So, whereas you know the food was really good, whereas I don't know about Prague with would the food actually be decent? Honest with you. Nuts about Brazil. Tex-Mex. Again, why would I go to Prague and eat... Like, the only reason I could see myself going to, like, an Asian or Australian restaurant or something like that in Prague is if I went to eat their, like, local delicacies and thought that they all tasted like shit. Only thing. Which is basically what happened to my friend. So I went to um so I, I I tend to go to Thailand quite a lot. Not for that reason. Mainly because I have family there. And yes, believe it or not, yes, I do have family there. That's that is the main reason I go there, not for the other thing. Um And I went to I went to Thailand with one of my mates. Um and I remember like we had some like local food. He did not like it. So he we ended up going in McDonald's almost every other day to eat. If we were going if we were out anywhere, he'd be purposely looking for like where's the McDonald's? I want to eat in McDonald's because he didn't like the local he didn't, he didn't like Thai food. I'm, I I I literally I was like but it wasn't it wasn't the fact that he it was more of the fact that I would try to like say try this, try this and he'd be like no, no, no. It's like he wasn't even willing to try some of the Thai food. Crazy. Yeah, if he's watching this video, he knows who he, he knows who he is. If he's watching this video, he knows who he is. You, I remember, I remember, I remember everything. I remember going there, and it's like I tried so hard to get you to try different. Um, oh, they have a blockbuster. Look at that. Um, Oh, we can go to Club Stella. We can go to the gay bar, boys. <laughs> Club Stella is a popular petite gay bar <laughs> in a cafe and a cafe in hip Vino Haradi. It's a friendly, laid-back place with a cozy cocktail lounge frequented by most locals. You'll need to ring the doorbell to get in. It's a great place to chill in the wee hours. Why are you... wee hours? I like I like how they purposely have used like let's let's say that this let's, let's describe this bar it is a gay bar but let's describe describe it as a petite gay bar and you can visit it in the wee hours let's make a reference to penis all the time <laughs> but um but yeah um going back to thailand yeah i i remember going there I was like oh try this try this food try that food try this food nope 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 mcdonald's mcdonald's <laughs> Yeah. All right. Sleep. One thing I will not ever try is hostels. I do not like the idea of hostels. I like my own space when I go on holiday. When I go on holiday, I go on holiday to chill, explore and chill. That's the whole entire point of a holiday in my eyes. So how can you chill at a hostel? You can't. Because you've got all these people, you have no clue who they are around you. You want them gone. Goodbye. Do not come back. Do not associate with me. Goodbye. I will admit, I'm incredibly unsociable. You have to understand this. Yeah, this is just more... It's just... It's all the same. All the same. So let's see. Let's see what it says about Prague in general. Beautiful buildings, bargain price beer, and bohemian beads. Matika Pra. Little Mother Prague was largely undamaged by World War II. Um, and the cityscape is stunning. Its compact medieval center remains an avocative maze of cobbled lanes, ancient courtyards, dark passages, and churches beyond number, all watched over by one a uh, one thousand one hundred year old castle. Interesting. Right. So they have an underground as well, do they? Oh, okay. Okay, they have an, they have their own underground as well. Okay, fair enough. The old map looks like. I was at one point going to go with my friend to Prague, but I, again, I just couldn't see the point of going there. So. <laughs> he can bring up the old browser. Let's have a look at a day in Prague. 
I have a feeling every single one of these videos is going to be the same, where the sun rises and it just shows off like all of the landmarks. After this, we'll have a look at the language. Move on to the next game. I like the look of the buildings. The buildings look nice. Oh, some nice statues here and there. I'm guessing he was doing some jib, doing some tricks. Knights. I say Royal Guard because the way he's like standing there kind of reminds me of the Royal Guard we have here in the UK, the Buckingham Palace. So. Fresh strawberries. At least you think that's fresh, maybe. Market. Hotel, maybe? Kind of looks like a hotel. Again, I don't know what the food's like in Prague. I'm, I, I'm willing to give most things a go. Unless, unless it's bugs. Because like in Thailand they eat bugs and I'm like, eh, no thank you. I remember walking down like well, like a local market. Because again, obviously the family I have over there lives in like the real rural area. Areas of Thailand. In like Isan. Uh, Isan. They live over in like Isan, Buriram territory. So, I'm not going to say exactly where obviously. Um... And it's funny, you just go to one of their local markets. It's really good because obviously pretty much everything there is really cheap. You get some real cheap clothes and different stuff. But they'll have like food and there'll be bugs and they'll have like spiders being cooked. And I'm like, I want to die. I don't want to see this. Ah, uh, I'm arachnophobic as it is. I don't want to bloody smell a cooking spider. Disgusting. So we have like the bars and stuff. Yeah, well, one of the biggest things about Prague is like, you go there, it's cheap beer, nice place to go and get drunk. I'm like, well. I'm not really one for that kind of thing, personally going around and getting drunk. There must be like the center square, other like building, the market, a, I guess some famous hotel, or, I don't know. Again, they, I like how it all has them in like their own language. Like how, yes, I'm going to understand that. Very good. All right. Could, I guess we could try an audio tour, but I'd rather do that for the, uh, we'll leave that for the like, English. So let's have a look at the old Czech. We'll go to the ones that are the most... Obviously, what what, what actually... It's going to be, like, like I said, greetings. What other ones we have? Question words. Jedna. Jedna is one, apparently. Let's have a look at the old... Uh, Ahoy. Ahoy. Ahoy? Really? Is that hello? Ahoy. Okay. Těší mě, že vás poznávám. Těší mě, že vás poznávám. Jak se máte? Jak se mate. That is so, so similar to the Polish way of saying how are you. So, Jak se mate. Jak se mate is how are you in Czech. Jak se is, is how are you in Polish. <laughs> uh, why is... Naschledano. Naschledano. What a long word for goodbye. Brzy naschledano. Brzy. Mám se dobře, děkuji. 
This this language sounds very similar to Polish. Prosím. Prosím. Děkuji. Děkuji. Dobré ráno. Oh, yeah. Děkuji. Děkuji. Dzięki. Děkuji. Dzięki. Ano. It just sounds similar. Děkuji. Thank you. In Czech, Dzięki is thank you in uh, in Polish. <laughs> I realize I work in a warehouse. Of course, I'm going to know some Polish. Come on. Standard, that is. Is that a common thing you ask, is it? <laughs> in, a, in, in Prague? Is it? Pro minute. Pro minute. Minite se. Minite se. Yeah, it's the right language. All right. Again, it's more of the same. Let's move on to the to the next game. We're going to have a look at Paris next. Have a look at the old Paris. Passport to Paris. Oh, processing. Wait. Got to wait. Oh no. Oh no. You got to realize as each game we we have a look at, me looking at them is going to be even shorter. You got to remember that. Another place I have never been to is Paris. I've got no interest in going to France. The only time I've been to France is passing through France to go to Belgium. The only time. Because I've been to Belgium. But I've got no interest in going to Paris. It's a fucking shithole. I've, fucking, I've seen enough videos of it. It's a fucking shithole. You can't convince me otherwise. It's it's From what I see, what, what, what I've seen, it's a fucking shithole. No interest in going there. Oh. It's so weird how they've done this. You would think you'd go and like guide on places to see, and you'd think it would say the name of the place and why you would visit there instead of having like say Framat. Say Framat. Can you see anyone? It's a Moorish mosque. <laughs> like what what that makes more sense so like i said it's you it's listing a museum that you can go to and saying that 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 they have jewish art there fair enough there you go you've, you've told me exactly what i need to know ooh la la ooh la la what oh <laughs> i just noticed what that was hopefully the video doesn't get <laughs> the video doesn't get bloody thingied because of that <laughs> I was like trying to figure out what the hell is ooh la la about that picture, and then I realized I was like, <laughs> turn it off! Deary me. Again, all of these games are 3 plus, by the way, so there should be no issue. Look, they obviously they have their own underground. I'm not going to look at food and stuff, I've just. We're going through to see... There's a lot more maps here than in other games. Look how many maps there are. I guess Paris is a big place. So let's have a look at uh, a, a day in Paris and see how much they actually... I want to see the garbage oh, because it is full of garbage. Uh. If I don't see any garbage, I will not be happy. I was a bloke washing away the garbage. Then again, this is 2006. I imagine Paris would have been a little bit cleaner back then than it is now. Or are they just using old stock footage? I feel like they're just using old stock footage. Because a lot of these clips, I see a lot of old cars in some of these clips. I like how it shows or like a lot of like couple stuff, like people kissing and all that. And I'm like, 
show me the fucking country. Show me the, the city in this case. Show me the city. Don't show me, like... It's fine showing, like, people chilling. Was this meant to be showing people in the moment? There you go, these are all right pictures. Do chilling. People obviously going about their day. Oh hmm. uh, yeah, watch out for those types of people. People selling stuff like that. Hasslers, hagglers, whatever you want to call them. Playing bloody bowls. Oh, they love that game. You got to remember when I was looking at Mere Mortals and PentaQ, PentaQ Pro, or whatever it's called. Basically, bowls. They love playing it. They love playing that game. You got to realize that when that game was made, pretty much for a French market. I do apologize for my burping. I'm very gassy at the moment. I don't know why. Pretty much every day at this point. I do drink fizz, but like one can. One can a day. That's it. One can a day. But I'm get I end up being gassy all day. It's crazy. I do try to hold it in, but it doesn't always work out. Yeah, these are nice little videos, I guess. Maris? Maris? Pont Neuf? Pont des Arts? Centre Pompidou? Uzi de Orsay? Le Choldelco? Something or other? Getty of Mushrooms? I don't know. And let's have a look at the old French phrase book. Do a bit of French in school, unfortunately. Bonjour. Bonjour. Salut. Salut. Ravi de vous rencontrer. Oh my word. Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? Au revoir. Au revoir. À bientôt. À bientôt. Je vais bien, merci. Je vais bien, merci. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. I know s'il vous plaît. So I know. What do I know? I know bonjour, bon voyage. It's like goodbye. Um, I know comme si comme ça, which is like I'm I'm just okay. Obviously, everyone remembers Je suis fatigué, because it has fat and gay in the sentence, of course. Everyone remembers Je suis fatigué. Don't know what it means, can't remember. But everyone remembers Je suis fatigué. Um, I guess s'il vous plaît. Omelette du fromage. <laughs> everyone remembers that from Dexter's Laboratory. <laughs> merci. Obviously, merci. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle Bayo. Je m'appelle. Of course. Quel âge avez-vous? Quel âge avez-vous? Vous êtes très aimable. Vous êtes très aimable. Vous êtes très aimable. Excusez-moi. Excusez-moi. Prenez soin de vous. What about? I want. I want. Where is this sweet fatty guy? They go up to a French person and go. Je ne parle pas votre langue. I don't. I don't speak French. Un, Un deux, deux, trois. trois. Catch a sink. Six. This. Set. Dead. Wheat. Wheat. Nuff. Nuff. This. This. Nuts. Nuff. This nuts. Nuff. These nuts. Oh dear. Uh, I can't really remember what so sweet fatty gay is from, actually. I have no clue. Anyway, so there you go. That was uh, Paris. Let's move on. I know we're, we're, it, we're, get, we're getting through these quicker and quicker, but at the end of the day, it's, again, it's just more of the same, really. I, got, I, I want to remind you, if, you know, we're 40 minutes into the video here, I want to remind you, this is just a look. We're looking at these games. That's it. It's not a review. 
it's not anything like that. It's more of like I'm experiencing them and you're experiencing them at the same time. A first impressions. I keep saying this. People seem to think that my content is reviews. It's first impressions. It's not reviews. I don't do reviews. I don't have the capability or mental capability to do reviews. Literally, me going and going. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's basically what this is. There's a spiky house. What is the spiky house? The Pug... Oh, yeah, by the way, we're doing Barcelona now. <laughs> the Pug e Cadafalches Casa de Teres is better known as the Casa de Les Aponics. I kind of... I'm not... Completely butcher these... Butcher this. The, the Spanish language. Let's just pick one random. This one. Trip back in time to the Muzu de Historia de la Cueta. The museum combines large sections of the former Palo Real Major. Ever been to Barcelona? Grand Royal Palace. It was built as a 16th century noble family. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I've never been to Barcelona. I've been to Spain a couple of times. I don't think I've been to Barcelona, though. Uh, but when I went to Spain, I was really, really young, so I don't really remember much of it. Do I have any gay literature? Really? Okay. I guess that's what that means. Um, yeah, if, if you said to me, oh, have you got any interest to go back to Spain? No, not really. Interesting fact, though, while I'm recording this video, my parents are currently in Spain. If you said to me, well, where are they in Spain? I don't remember. <laughs> I only pay attention half the time to what they're talking about. <laughs> so, and that's not nice to say, but. <laughs> nice and naughty. God, look at that. Uh, you can get away with that. That one you can get away with. The other one, not so much. Might have to blur that. We'll see what YouTube says at the end of the day. Essential information. Food, fiesta, fashion, and fun. Summer in Spain is a serious party time. And nowhere more so than Barcelona. Week-long fiesta fun for all. Say so. Right. Ooh. What is the point of me being able to do this? I don't know. Right, so there's the, the Realm Network. There's a lot of maps here. Images, we go to sleep. See all the images they associated with sleep. They just basically put like a photo gallery. Who's this dude? Who are you? Hotel Prestige. Is this, is this Mr. Prestige himself? Oh my word, here he is. The main man. The man himself, Mr. Prestige. Better beware. This bloke. This bloke right here. You better beware. Oh, wait. Well, you. This bloke. You better beware. Because he will get to Prestige ranking COD. He'll play Call of Duty Modern Warfare. He'll get Prestige. Prestige 52. That's what he'll get. Unlike Action 52. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's have a look at the old A Day in Barcelona. See what, see what it's like. I can't wait to see a day in London. It's going to be interesting. You have these like real slow like music. It all sounds the same. It's different music each time, but it all sounds the same. So funny enough. Let it be the baby. Yeah, I don't understand some of these, but like, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that's fine. Showing people at this train station moving in motion. Old man on the train, cool. All right. Uh, there's a a bar. There's a market. Market looks nice. I'd be willing to go to Spain, as well as France, if I had instant transmission. Give me instant. Give me Goku's instant transmission. Then sure, I'll go there. I'll just go. Put two fingers to my forehead and go. Boop, and I'm there, boys. I'm right there. Oh, two two big guys have an argument. Fantastic. Some artwork. Going down the main street. Oh, let's get a picture of... Let's get a video of the dude cleaning the park. That's... Okay. Some nice looking girls. In all fairness, a lot of the girls they show in these videos are, are quite attractive. And the ones I've seen thus far. That is a big old vending machine. 
That's a big old Japan. Step your game up. <laughs> step your game up. I want a building-sized vending machine. <laughs> Would not surprise me if Japan has something like that. See, they did all of these, and I'm here. I am thinking to myself, why didn't they do Passport to Japan? It's the fucking PSP. It was a very popular system in Japan. Especially back when this game first came out. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's have a guy just... Oh, okay. Just a random dude just drinking a beer. Ha half naked. Okay. Let's get some skateboarders. It's like I said, some of the images make sense. Some of them... I guess it is literally just... Uh, they're trying to capture the people living in, a mom in the moment kind of thing. That's fine, but some living in the moment things are okay. Some of them are like um, a bit questionable. Like why have you have why are we including this? Yeah, it's an alright video. But going back to the whole thing about me saying, like, I don't do reviews. I don't do reviews. I want to reiterate that point. Alright? Like, I'm experiencing these games as you're experiencing these games. If you've never played these before, you have played them before, or you, or you have looked at these before, it's a different story. But for me, this is the first, first experience. And I, I pay attention for as long as I pay attention. In other words, that's the reason why the first game I focused on a lot. That's nice. That's a nice little shot there for the camera. But what I'm trying to say is I pay attention as much as I'm willing to pay attention. Like the first game, which was Rome, I paid the most attention to. The rest, the rest of these, it's just kind of like not even as much attention given to them as I did with Rome. And it's, again, because Rome was the first one I looked at. The rest of these, you, you've now, you know, you realize that they're all the same thing. Same kind of information. So you're just like, eh. That's what it is. It's just like, eh. Here we go. So Spanish. Now I'll look at the Spanish language. Go back to my favorite section, the greetings. Hola. 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 Un placer conocerte. Oh, I'm not even, I'm not even. Como estas? Como estas, yeah. Adios. Adios. Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto. Estoy bien, gracias. Por favor. Por favor. Por favor. Por favor. Gracias. Gracias. Buenos días. Y unos días. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Me llamo. Me llamo Bayo. ¿Cuántos años tienes? I, I've never understood the whole question. Like when they ask a question, they have to have a question mark at the beginning of the of the question, but upside down, and then have one at the end of the question. Very strange. Cuídate. Perdón, 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 perdón. Perdón. Muy amable. Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt. Not even going to attempt Spanish. Not even going to attempt it. So there, there was uh, Barcelona. We've got two more to look at. Amsterdam and London. Obviously, I'm hopefully going to spend a little bit more time with, with London. Obviously, Amsterdam's going to be next. Processing. Please wait. Here we are. Here's Amsterdam. So, We've got to be careful with Amsterdam because <laughs> there might be some naughty pictures in here. Got to be very careful. Amsterdam's another place that I don't really see myself being interested in going to. Again, if you just want to get drunk, a place to get drunk, I guess. But what, what's the point? This is the point I'm trying to make. It's like, what's the point? Like, there's obviously the Hash and Marijuana Museum, and like, obviously, drugs is, and marijuana specifically is very big in Amsterdam. But marijuana is illegal in the UK. I've got no interest in even giving it a go. I've, I'm just not. I've never been interested in drugs in general, really. Giving anything a go, even marijuana, I'm just not interested. So it's like, what's the point? I don't understand the point.
guess there is. I imagine there's about as many sites in Amsterdam as there are in Prague in terms of maybe I don't know, maybe Amsterdam's got more, I don't know. When they said Gothic worship, I thought this was gonna be would have a different picture, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Seems all right. I'm not really interested. Again, I'm, I'm not really interested in the guide part. You know, I look at very little because it's all the kind of the same stuff. Look at the old map, and you'll see you have like the network, the metro network. Well, that's quite a small metro, really. For, yeah. I'm guessing it's not a particularly big place. I just thinking. Call that a low mm. zoom. Let's have a look at the uh, entertainment images. If we get any weird ones pop up. Weird's Amsterdam. I, you know, everyone knows about like the red light district stuff in Amsterdam. Mm. Surprising. What about sleep. Got any weird images? Come on, give me the weird images. Nope, mm. nothing. Did I just see? Thought that said Weed Hotel. <laughs> Let's have a look at a, a day in Amsterdam. Again, it's another place that's got nice looking houses. But you you go to Belgium and you'll get the same style of houses. Like Belgium, I went to Belgium for three days. Was it was it four days? On the Eurostar, and I just felt it was, it was just a waste of time. It was boring. We were only there for three, three, four days, and it was still fucking boring. There was nothing to do. Pretty much most places were closed for some reason. Fuck knows why, but they were just closed. I went to um, Belgium with the same friend I went to Thailand with, but we also had an additional friend, which we're no longer friends with. Who was just a fucking nuisance the entire holiday. Oh my god, he was just a fucking nuisance the entire holiday. Trash the fucking hotel room. Oh god. Complained the entire time, because even though he was wanted to come with us, and it, I'm pretty sure it was his idea to go to Belgium. If I remember correctly, wasn't it his idea to go to Belgium? Like me and the me and the other friend. Obviously, I don't want to name anyone at the end of the day. Uh, me and the other friend were like looking to think about places for all three of us to go, and we had no clue. We were going to go to Amsterdam at one point. I think Amsterdam would have been the better choice, if I'm honest with you. Because even though I wouldn't have done any drugs, I know one of them would have. The one who's obviously complained a lot when we went to Belgium. I reckon he would have done. And it would have been just funny watching him just get, get you know, on fucking drugs the whole entire time. It would have been entertaining. But yeah, we went to we went to Belgium, and I'm pretty sure it was his idea to go to Belgium. And then the entire time we were in Belgium, he moaned the entire fucking time we were in Belgium. I'm like, you're the one that wanted to come here. We couldn't decide where to go. We suggested a but few places, and he was like, no, no, I don't want to go there. And in the end, we went we went to we went to Belgium. I mean, I, you know, really, we probably should have gone to Amsterdam. Probably would have had a much more fun time in Amsterdam. Belgium, like I said, was just boring. Yeah, and we even went to a lot of the sites. It was just boring. Oh, there we go. There it is. Got to have at least one screen, one little shot of it. 
a big part of Amsterdam at the end of the day. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. That's Von del Park, I can, Magna Plaza, I can pronounce that, that's fine. Nope. Nope, not even an attempt. So yeah. Now, let's have a look at the Dutch. This is going to be interesting, because the Dutch language is uh, is interesting. Can be a little bit interesting. Let's have a look, see, greetings. Hello. Hello. Hoi. Hoi. Leuk u te leren kennen. Leuk u te leren kennen. Hoe gaat het? Hoe gaat het? Dag. Dag. Tot gauw. Tot gauw. Goed, dank u. Goed, dank u. That's what I mean. They're like they say thank you as thank you. Graag. You see those memes online where it shows the Dutch language and it's literally like the, the stupidest looking Bedankt. thing. Goedemorgen. Like that. Go, 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 go. Goedenavond. I don't mean to make fun of the Dutch language. My name is. My name is. <laughs> it's stuff like that. Why? Why is it? My name is. My name is. <laughs> Hoe oud bent u? <laughs> Stop it! You are doing this on purpose, Dutch. You are doing this on purpose. Why are you doing this on purpose with your stupid language? <laughs> that is aardig van u. That is aardig van Pardon. Pas goed op uzelf. It's like, take care. It's pass good up self. Oops, up self. It's like, look after yourself. Kind of, I don't know. It's just, I guess, just a funny language. All right, let's look at the. We're almost at an hour now. Let's look at the final game, which will be Passport to London. I should hopefully, being British myself, be able to give a little bit of a, a thing about this. We'll see, though. Let's see what sites they offer. See what I can recommend. What, what, what I can recommend. The Gherkin. I like how the first thing I see is the gherkin. You call that a gherkin? Okay. Um, nope. Wellington Museum. Eh. Bank of England Mu Museum. Eh. Bankside Gallery. Banqueting House. British Air Airways. London Eye. Yeah, the London Eye's all right. I've been, I've been to the London Eye once. It's just a big Ferris wheel. That's all it is. It's nothing special. It really isn't. Uh, the British Museum, Natural History Museum, is interesting. You can look at all the things that the Britain has stolen over the years. Buckingham Palace. I've not actually been to Buckingham Palace myself. I'd rather, I'm not interested in royalty whatsoever, so that's just about how I am. Um, cabinet War Rooms, no, I haven't been there. Central Criminal Court, haven't been there. Chelsea Old Church, no. Clink Prison Museum, no. I've been to London Underground, uh, was it London London Dungeon? That's one of the things you can do in London. London go to London Dungeon thing. That's quite good. Like a little like a amusement thing. Dickens House, Florence Nightingale Museum. Oh, they do like to show a lot of museums, don't they? Been to literally like none of these except for like <laughs> the British Museum, <laughs> Natural History Museum. I guess would be going to Lloyd's of London. No. London Zoo. Have I been to London Zoo? I don't think I have been to London Zoo. Been to uh, Mar um, Marwell. Marwell's good. Marwell Zoo. That's a good a good one to go to. I've never been to London though. On Monument Museum of London. I've only been to London a, a handful of times. Not really a place I'd like to go, if I'm honest. Unless it's going to Piccadilly Circus, because you go to Piccadilly Circus and then you have all the nice looking buildings, and also it has Japan Center in in Piccadilly Circus. So. <laughs> I have a reason to go there. There you go, Natural History Museum. Yeah, I've been there once when I was really young. Wouldn't mind, actually, I wouldn't mind going to London again and going to the Natural History Museum. See, that's, see, that's, see, that's something that interests me. Chapel, Queen's Gallery, Royal Courts of Justice, Royal Mute, Royal Opera House. No, never been to any of these. No, never been to any of these. St. James Piccadilly. I've probably been there because I've I've walked around the entirety of Piccadilly Circus. Well, that 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 might not even be in Piccadilly Circus, possibly. A wee house. 
It's a wee house. Archduke, yeah, I've seen that. West Min Westminster Abbey, yeah, I've been uh, been there. I haven't been inside there, but I've seen the outside of it. Just like I've seen Big Ben. Westminster Cathedral, seen that. Well, I've been there, but I've seen it. Oh, that's like, what I mean is when I say I've seen it, it means that I've... Are you showing lingerie? <laughs> Why are the first two options like lingerie shops? Um, I've seen it from a distance while being in London is what I mean to say. So, couldn't really say what what would be it's like London has loads of different shops like loads of shops so couldn't really say what's good to look at in London if I'm honest with you oh wait, wait, wait. eat there's pretty much everything. Everything you can think of is in London. Any kind of cuisine that you want, really, there, there's going to be somewhere in London where you can go and eat it. So, for entertainment, I don't really say. Wondering why it's got, it's got tonight. Simple minds plus some plus guests. 6.30 to 10.20. Gay. <laughs> this is gay under there. I don't know. I'm just wondering. I don't even think I've been to any of these like clubs. I don't do the clubbing scene. I've never been that kind of person, really. I've been to uh, Boston Music Room for a gig to watch Crystal Lake play. That was good. Don't know what Crystal Lake is. It's a Japanese like metal core band. Fluid. There's a Japanese themed bar called Fluid, <laughs> similar to the Japanese folk band called, which is also called Fluid, who did the opening to um, Akagi Nanto Karate. Love Fluid. Good, good folk. Good, good. It's a good Japanese band. I recommend it. Fluid. I have one of their albums called like The Golden Years. Really good album. It's kind of an unknown band, pretty much. Gay club land, fantastic. Coco Loco. I don't know where you would actually go, Venice, for stay in London, really. It's all extremely expensive. All you need to know, really. It's just really expensive. See what it says about London. So London's contrasts and cacophonies both infuriate and seduce. Okay. London, the grand resonance of its very name, suggests history and might. Its opportunities for entertainment by day and night go on and on. The city uh, that exhilarates and intimidates, stimulates and irritates. Equal measure, a grubby monopoly board studded with stellar sights. Okay. Okay then. If I'm honest with you, if you're a tourist from another country, don't live in the UK. Sure, go to London if you want. Right? It's 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 fine. I don't see any interest going to London. Personally, I think you're better off going down to Cornwall. Cornwall's much nicer than London. There's plenty of places that you know are much much nicer. If I'm honest with you, like we, I, we, I, I, I might do a little bit of an extra segment at the end. I'll give you my passport to England. How about that? Yeah. Uh, cool. We have a picture of the London Underground. Pretty easy to navigate the London Underground. A lot of people look at these underground maps. An underground map is about as confusing the first time you look at it, but then us when you start actually, I'm just like looking at it properly and reading and. Oh, pardon me. Following this, um, the guide, you're fine. It's it's easy. It's not as confusing as you think it is. Very weird map. Cool. Um, so let's have a look at a day in London. See what to see how it shows. London Eye. There's a lot of cranes in London. They're not wrong about that. I like picking a very moody atmosphere. Well, in England, you're going to have grey skies most of the time. It's been surprisingly sunny at the moment. I don't know what's... It's cold. 
at the moment, but it's been surprisingly sunny recently. At least when I'm recording this video. Keep in mind that when this video comes out, it's not when I recorded this video. So if this video came out in December, keep in mind I, I'm recording this in October. <laughs> so. Yep, go and get your full English. You, know, you have the old London cabs around. Nothing special about them. Really, there isn't. Oh, yeah, go and get a coffee. Sure. Yeah, plenty of markets, different things around. Uh, they've gone to the old skate park as well. There's a massive skateboarding scene in London. There's a lot of good places to skateboard in London, I think. I think that's why. It's the overground. Trains. Because they have an overground and an underground. So, with the times I've gone to London is mainly for conventions. Going to conventions, going to MCM, going to Hyper Japan. Or just go in there to go to, like, Japan Center or, you know, places like that. Kind of like a portal back, isn't it? You think this is 2006. You would think that they recorded this. Now the world is in a shithole. The world is just complete fucked at the moment. In the year 2022. Back to a simpler time. Time of 2006. Yep, there's the London Eye. Hey, you got to show the traffic. Traffic is uh, horrendous in London. That's why you park in place somewhere like Richmond and get the fucking tube in. Again, they do like their random shots where they just have like a woman standing there drinking out of a paper cup. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you show show in this video you showed covert garden convent garden soho yeah i've been there south bank possibly tate modern i yeah, don't think i've been there big ben yeah i've, I've seen big ben there we go what, what kind of audio tours do we have we have like shoreditch south park bank and hyde park let's have a look at hyde park London is one of the world's most vibrant cities, but we all need to escape the rat race sometimes. And here in the English capital, that's surprisingly easy. This British urban voice. jungle is dotted with thousands of hectares of historic parkland. Not British enough for me, though. Of peace and quiet. Most people wouldn't think of it that way, yet London is quite a green city. We oh, it's very short. Parks, Look how long it is. Patch of grass in town. During its lifetime, it's been church property. During its lifetime, it's been here, the there, and everywhere. Come on, you have got to have a proper British accent, mate. Got the proper British accent. Today, the park's a place of leisure with people. I don't know. Exciting. Oh, we can have a phrase book. Oh, why is there no English phrase book? I guess it's already in English. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Why are all these games, like, in English? They were sold in England, and none of these games were released in America, by the way. They're all, like, released in England. So why is there, like, a one that is Passport to London? Do just people, English people just don't go to London, I guess. Oh, yeah, if you live quite far up north, I mean, prob probably not. But, yeah. I don't know. Give me a second. I'm going to bring up, so I said deny that. I'd bring up. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. I'm going to pause a minute.
So here you go. So here's the United Kingdom. All right, here's the United Kingdom. See, I'm on Google Maps here. So London's here, right? You have the M25 going around. Horrible, horrific motorway there. Horrific motorway. This is why I say, if you want to go to London, my my advice, right? If you want to go to London, if you want to go to, uh, if you want to go to Richmond. I'll go to Richmond. Let's see what it is. Okay, here we go. So there's Richmond, right? And it's real easy, right? You go on the M3. The M3 is quite a nice, easy road to go down. You go on the M3. You will get to a place called Richmond, and there's a place you can park in Richmond. It has Richmond Park, which is quite nice. Quite nice, as you can see, look at that, 4.8 4 .8 with 20, 28, uh, 23,000 reviews. Uh, Richmond Park's quite nice. You can also get ho like hotels in Richmond that are somewhat reasonable. So, at least I think. And then you're better off getting the tube. You can get, like, you basically get the train from Richmond but the tube does go through Richmond. It also goes to Wimbledon as well. Um, and go to London that way. That is the best way of doing it. But the main reason I go to London, if I do go to London... Oh, my word. It's go to Piccadilly Circus. Which I actually don't know where Piccadilly Circus is looking at this. Piccadilly Circus, London. I've got a search bar over here. So there's Piccadilly Circus. This is where I normally go if I go to London. Like I said, you can see from Piccadilly Circus, you can see the London Eye. Hyde Park is there. We just had a look at obviously Hyde Park. So you, you've got Piccadilly Circus is a good place to go, at least in my eyes, because obviously it's got high, it's, it, it's got um, Japan Center, which is what I want. It's got Chinatown and Soho. So it's got Soho where you can get a lot of like um, Japanese food and that. I just realized uh, it's a bit see through here and there. I use this um, this one for the wheel spin, so. But it's fine. It serves its purpose. So yeah, I I I'd normally go to like um go to place go to uh, somewhere like Soho. So you get off at of the you get off at of the uh, there you go you get off at of this tube station here P Piccadilly Circus, and then you got Chinatown. You've got Soho. You've got obviously Japan Center there. You go down here. There's Buckingham Palace as well down here. Even though I've never wow that's cool. Um, even though I've never actually gone there, like I've probably, I've probably walked around, I've probably walked all the way around the, walked, I've walked, I don't think where I've been. So I've probably walked, there's 10 down the street there as well. I've probably walked all the way down here and gone into Hyde Park, but I've never gone here. I've never gone to Green Park and St. James's Park and Buckingham Palace. Never, ever. But I've walked here and gone here loads of times to Hyde Park. So and obviously you got and like I said, I'm pretty sure I probably walked down to the River Thames here. I've probably walked here where you can see the the London Eye there and then Big Ben here. I like how they show these like three D pictures now. That's really cool. I didn't re realize that was a thing. So, but yeah. Um, but if you have never been to the UK, yes, London is a place you can go. But have you considered not going to actually London and going some? Going all the way down here to Cornwall. Cornwall's really nice. Places down here. Really nice to go to. Wales is really nice to go to. As well. Wales. Really nice to go to. You got uh, the sea, like uh, Snowdonia National Park here, which is nice. Whenever you come to England, you want to avoid the major cities like Manchester, Liverpool, Sheffield, Leeds, the best Birmingham, the best you can. Bath is nice. You can go to Bath and you can see like the uh, the old Roman baths and whatnot. And see the further you get up. Scotland's nice to visit as well. I went to Scotland for the first time recently. Not Glasgow or Edinburgh. I haven't been there, but I will go there just to see what they're like, but I don't think they're particularly great. I went to Fort Williams. Which is... See it? Oh, there it is. Fort William. So I went to Fort William, and I was staying in Fort William. And then I went to, like, the Loch Ness. This is a Loch Ness. Went to Inverness. So what I'm saying is, is if you do come to England, there is... It's not just... Don't just stay in London. London is not nice. London is nice for, like, three days. 
And I guess, you know, there's plenty of stuff to do in London, but I just, it's not really interesting for me. So that's just my two cents. But yeah. This has been a very interesting kind of different style of video. Um, but I wanted to have a look at this passport series. Never seen, looked at them before, so I thought I would. I was going to do them as like six separate uploads, but then I was looking for, obviously playing the first one, Rome, and thought to myself, wow, this is um, not what I thought it was going to be. Or it's it more it's, it's more like it's exactly what I thought it was going to be, just a guide. So I thought, hey, screw it, we're going to jam all of them into one video. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little look at Passport to London, or Passport to the PSP, as I, I will call this video. Um, it's been interesting, I, I guess. I've been Bio, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.